Hello students, welcome back to the story of Ivan's childhood. For a long time children, do you remember that actually Ivan told us that he doesn't remember anything about his life as a child in the jungles? Well, did he really not remember anything? Before we begin the class today, a quick recap. We read that thanks to Ruby's repeated requests for the story of Ivan's childhood, Ivan magically revived his suppressed memories and Ivan actually got into this flashback mode and he started telling all of us about his childhood days. We got to know that baby Ivan led a perfect life with his large family including a twin sister named Tag in the jungles of Central Africa. But this perfect life ended suddenly and tragically for him with his capture. There was also the tragic death of his sister Tag right in front of his eyes. Ivan was separated from his family and he was grieving the death of his sister and thrown into the unknown world of humans. The story ahead for all of you. In the chapter, The Temporary Human, we get to know details of Ivan's initial life in the human world immediately after his capture. It was actually Mac who had bought Ivan when he was still a baby gorilla. And since Mac had no idea about how to raise, about how to raise a baby gorilla, he raised Ivan like a human baby. You can see on the screen that baby Ivan is in his new home that is Mac's home. He wore diapers, drank milk from a bottle and even slept in human beds. He accompanied Mac and his wife Helen in their car to fast food restaurants to eat what? French fries and drink strawberry shake. Imagine how people would have reacted seeing a cow whiz past them with a baby gorilla Ivan sitting inside or even munching French fries. Have you ever seen a baby gorilla munch French fries? Well, you need to see Ivan. So from baby gorilla named Mud, this gorilla soon became Ivan and he started living the life of an American boy. And guess what? Mac even took Ivan to baseball games, grocery stores and movie halls too. Have you ever watched a movie sitting next to a baby gorilla? Lols, I can't imagine doing that at PVR. As a baby gorilla living a human life, he obviously broke an awful lot of things in Mac's house. And that infuriated Helen, that is Mac's wife. So we find that up to this stage, Ivan's life as a temporary human was not really that bad. In fact, Ivan himself tells us that at this point, his life was almost glamorous. You can see baby Ivan dressed up in human clothes, sleeping on human bed. In the next chapter titled Hunger, we find that despite this glamorous life Ivan led as a human, he did naturally feel the hunger for his old gorilla way of life. He missed being with other gorillas, but he told himself not to think of the jungle because he had seen that Tag had lost her life only because of her grief at losing her old life. Here we see that Ivan actually willfully suppressed his memories of childhood only so that he could survive and adjust in the new human world. 
The next two chapters are titled Still Life and Punishment. I find both these chapters funny as well as sad. One day Helen, who is Mac's wife, brought a still life painting of fruits and you can see that painting on the screen. The sight of these bright luscious fruits, bananas, grapes and apples mesmerized and tempted Ivan to touch the painting. Helen shooed him away from the painting. Next, Ivan walked into their kitchen and guess what? He spotted this yummy tasty cake covered in thick chocolate frosting. What do you think he did with this cake? No, he didn't eat it. I know, I would pounce on such a creamy cake to eat it and show. So would you. Okay, I will give you a hint. The chocolate cake and the chocolate frosting reminded Ivan of the mud in the forest. It awakened the sleeping artist within Ivan. Now you tell me, what did the artist Ivan do? with the cake if he did not eat it. Although Ivan knew very well that he would ultimately get into trouble for this later, but Ivan just couldn't help it. He scraped the entire frosting from the cake and used it to paint it all over the refrigerator door, which for Ivan was the perfect empty white waiting canvas. He just wanted to be an artist again. Can you bl blame Ivan? Helen was obviously ballistic when she saw her cake as well as the refrigerator ruined. So as a punishment, what she did was she banned Ivan's entry into the kitchen from that day onwards. The next chapter is titled Babies because here we find that although initially Ivan stayed with Mac in his house, he did visit the circus with Mac but only occasionally. He did not stay in the circus. He went to the circus dressed in a crisp tuxedo and he looked very cute and handsome too. As a result, lots of visitors started coming to the circus and they started getting their pictures clicked with Ivan. In one of such visits to the circus, a mother even placed her little baby in Ivan's lap to click a picture. So here you can see baby gorilla Ivan with another baby posing for a picture. Anyway, the next chapter titled Beds. We get to know that one day Mac's wife Helen left the house in anger. Ivan does tell us that Helen was quick to laugh and quick to anger too. So basically she was a very short tempered person and she just left the house. Anyway, she never really came back and Ivan that night slept with Mac in his bed. You can see Ivan sleeping peacefully on a human bed. Now that night, Ivan tells us that when Mac slept, he made a sleeping sound like the rumble Ivan's father used to make. A sound from deep inside his belly. So basically, Mac was snoring. So Mac's snoring reminded Ivan of his dad. In fact, up to this point, we see that Mac did take good care of Ivan. He pampered him as if he was his own son, taking him for baseball games, movies and even ice cream. I really wonder then what happened. Why and how did Ivan land up being caged in the circus? I will sign off now because time is running out. But I will leave you with these questions so that you are tempted to read the book to find the answers out for yourself.